Huh. There's a hole on top of this tower. I wonder if anything evil is inside there. Oh well. Hello and welcome to more Donkey Kong 64. In the last episode, we came to Angry Aztec and we unlocked Tiny Kong. So, today we're going to drop down off of this tower and we're going to go and swap over to Tiny Kong and get all of her crud inside Angry Aztec as well. Technically, we didn't finish off Diddy Kong. We still have a little bit to do, but we're going to do that during Donkey's episode. So for now, let's go over to Tiny and check out her little animation here. Yep, very cute, very cute Tiny Kong. So we'll go ahead and pick her and let's take a look at the moves that she has. Oh, help me out, Squawks, I'm a new Kwong. Squawk, hello, Tiny, there are five golden bananas. Okay, so there's five golden bananas for her as well. Of course there is. So Tiny doesn't have anything too special right now. She just has a regular jump. She's got her backflip right here. We've got a long jump. We've got our regular attack right here. There's the dash attack. She does have a crouching B. Diddy Kong didn't have a crouching B at the start but uh, Tiny does, so we got that. And we have our jump attack as well. I think that's everything. We got, I guess, Simeon Slam. Anyways, with all of that, let's go and get started. We're gonna get all of the stuff on Tiny Kong here today in Angry Aztec, and we're gonna start by going over towards warp number five, where we can get some purple coins. As well as some little banana action right there. Very nice, very nice. So now that we've got those coins, let's go over to Funky so we can buy our weapon. And very conveniently, they give us a bunch of coins very close to where Funky is. It's pretty rare that they don't give you all the coins you need for uh, whatever you need to buy pretty nearby. So let's go ahead and enter, and pretty much all of this text is going to be the same for every Kong. So I'm just going to go ahead and press B to skip it, and then we'll press yes to go ahead and buy the Feather Bow. Heck yeah, Tiny! So the feather icons that we've been seeing throughout the game, yep, yeah, we're going to be able to deal with those now. So I'm just going to skip through the rest of this dialogue here. So, all right, we got that crud. And now I'm gonna take warp four, just because I wanna be a little bit closer to where we're going next. And over here, I do wanna go to Cranky's, but I don't wanna take warp three because, well, as you can see right here, there's gonna be some purple bananas on the way to Cranky, and there's gonna be some coins as well. Like if we went to Cranky right now, uh, we couldn't actually afford what he has to sell us, so we're gonna have to get some coins along the way. Thankfully, uh, Tiny Kong's slide is super good against clap traps. If you just do it right up in their face, the slide will just go, and if it lines up well, it will hit the thing. Uh, the jaw that pops out, so it's pretty good. So once we get through this tunnel, we should be up to 15 bananas. And it looks like we didn't miss any. Good. And on the right side, we're going to have a barrel right there we can't use, as well as a few purple coins. So with these, we can now go and get the stuff from Cranky. We could go back, and we could... Um, well, actually, first, let's deal, deal with this guy. Get out the feather bow and just start spamming some shots. Get out of here, Kasplat! There we go. So if we really didn't want to walk through this winding path here again, we could run all the way back to warp three and take that. But I think I'm gonna be fine here. Even if I do end up taking, well, <laughs> some damage just like that, we're gonna be fine. We've got plenty of health. We've got two melons now. So let's go in and let's buy ourselves a new ability. I have perfected another of my potions, Tiny, and it's yours for the three coins. So that part is the same, but the explanation of the ability after we buy will be different. So I am not gonna skip all of Cranky's dialogue. Here we get Mini Monkey, Kongum Smallest. Makes our head, okay, disproportionate. No, it's fine. We're gonna shrink down when we use that crud. You can now use my special barrel with your face on it. Leap into one and prepare to be amazed as you change size. You'll only be able to remain like this while your supply of crystal coconuts lasts though. So just like the rocket barrel boost from Diddy Kong, while we're in her ability, it's gonna drain those crystal coconuts. So we have to watch out for that crud. But you might think I would continue the level right now. I'm actually not gonna do that. Let's go ahead and hit exit level and get the crud out of here. Because now that we have Tiny Kong's feather gun, or the feather bow, as well as her ability, we can do some stuff back on DK Isles. First off, over here, we do have this little button we could shoot with the feather bow. Not really that important that we do that right now because once we go inside, there's really nothing in there for us. But I'll go ahead and show it anyways. So inside here, we'll have a couple of zingers. So let's go and shoot those guys. Go. Wow, I actually didn't miss any shots. And after we kill those, it'll show a barrel right here that we can't use. This is a Chunky Kong barrel, so it's gonna be several episodes before we can actually use that one. But it is there, and I guess we'll get some health back as well. So looking pretty good. And you might remember we had these gongs we could hit as Diddy Kong, and that would make a barrel pop up in the middle. And that is a barrel we're supposed to use as Tiny Kong, but even though we have Tiny Kong, we still can't actually access that barrel right now. So that is also not why I'm going back to DK Isles. The reason I'm going back here right now is I want to go over this way 
And there's this funny looking island off in the distance that you guys might have seen in the background of the previous episodes that I never pointed out. That one right there. Now that we're Tiny Kong and now that we have her Mini Kong ability, now we can do some crud. So I'm going to go ahead and drop down oh, <laughs> and take some fall damage. And uh, let's go and check that crud out. So we'll go underwater just to swim a little bit easier here. We'll swim right on over. And the first thing I want to do is check out the back. We do have a barrel right there. We could shrink down. And we're full on crystal coconut, so that's good. But around the back side, let's go whip out our feather bow. And right here we've got a target. And inside is a golden banana. I love how the feather sticks into the gate and you can see it go down like that. But let's go and get our first banana with Tiny Kong in DK Isles. So just like all of the regular levels, there's going to be five bananas per Kong in DK Isles itself as well. I also have warp number five right here, so we'll grab that. And now let's go over and actually take the tiny barrel. And we've gone from tiny to tinier. Help me out, Squawks! Squawk! This ability uses your crystal coconuts. Cancel the move by holding the Z button and pressing the left C button. Yep, thanks a lot, Squawks. Okay, so now that we're super small, we can go inside the little hole right here. I guess kind of the mouth of the fairy. But inside here, it's time for crying sounds! Oh boy! So right up here, we've got this big fairy that's crying. So let's go talk to her and see if we can cheer her up. Oh, I just don't know what to do! There was this huge tremor recently and it scared my banana fairy so much that they panicked and flew away. I'll reward anyone who manages to find them all and bring them back to me. Please help me, little one. I mean, I'll help out, just tell me what I can do. Calm down, Mrs. Fairy. My friends and I will look out for them on our adventure. Okay, Tiny Kong. Oh, thank you, but I'm afraid you won't be able to simply grab them out of the air. The only way to catch the banana fairies is by trapping them inside special banana skin photographs. Here, take my magical camera. It already has some film in it. To activate the camera, press and hold the Z button. Then press down on the C button. Take a fairy's picture by pressing B button. As a sign of our friendship, I'll now teach you and your friends a secret ability. Press and hold B to power up the move, and then release the button to activate it. As well as protecting you, it can also be useful for unearthing hidden items. Unfortunately, it needs a crystal coconut to work, so use it! Ah, oh, she was crying that whole time, what the crud? So yeah, we now have access to this camera, as well as that right there, that shockwave ability that we just saw. So if we hold down the B button, we'll get these glowy cruds around us, and if we let go, boom, we get a big shockwave, and that is a very strong attack. Around the little cave right here, we do have some crystal coconuts we can get, but that's all that's really in here. But that shockwave, that crud can one-shot a Kasplat. It is very strong. But she mentioned it's able to unearth some items. That is what I actually care about with it. So I'm gonna go and first go over this way. This might look like a very barren island, but as we get closer, well, it's just bad render distance. There's a tree here, and there's also this little crutter. So with the camera, we hold down Z, press down C, and now if we whip out the camera, we can take a picture of this crud. So the red face right there means we're not looking at it correctly. If it's green, we press B and we will capture it. So just like that, we got it. And what do we get for doing that? Well. We're going to get a restock on our stuff, but also now we can hold 11 of the film and 21 of the crystal coconuts. So we can now hold more as well. So very, very cool. So I'm very happy to get that. And now I'm going to go back. Actually, let's go take warp number five. Uh, I want to go back to the starting area, actually, the, the place where we started the game. One, because I want to go back inside DK's house, because that's why I where I want to show off Tiny's idle animation. But also because there's some items we can er unearth there with our new ability. So let's take warp number five, and let's go inside the big mouth. Does anyone else find it weird how this island is shaped like Donkey's head? Like, did it just conveniently happen to look like that? Or did they somehow terraform an entire island to look like his head? Like, how does Donkey have that kind of funds? I don't get it, man. So I want to go inside here, and I want to go to this back cave over here. By the way, <laughs> Tiny Kong's roll is really fast, so I'm probably going to be rolling about 200 times this episode. So uh, for any roll counters out there, you might want to tap out now. But back here, we've got some DK dirt, and this is where we want to use that shockwave. If we go ahead and hit that crud, it will unearth a rainbow coin. Squawks, rainbow coin, what does that do? Hey, Tiny, that's a special coin you picked up. It gives five coins to each Kong. So that will give us, like they said, five coins to every single Kong. And that includes the ones we haven't even unlocked yet. So 
as soon as we we unlock those Kongs, they're gonna already have all of the coins we got them through the rainbow coins. So they are incredibly valuable, and I will be getting, of course, every single one in the entire game. And there is another one right over this way. So once we get this, as soon as we unlock Lanky Kong, for example, he's gonna instantly have 10 blue coins. So that is so, so good. So yeah, it's really, really worthwhile to come get these. Let's go ahead and smack this crud. And we'll grab it. So yeah, you don't have to get all the coins in the game to get 101%. Those are kind of like beyond 101% collectibles. They don't actually count towards anything. They're only there for extreme completionists. But um, I would still recommend basically everyone come in and at least get the rainbow ones. Dude, can I even get inside the house as Tiny? She's not very good at jumping very far. So I'm going to see if I can get in there and we'll show her idle animation. Come on, it's got to... Well, what if I jump to this tree? Can I jump to this tree? No. Okay, Tiny, we can make it. Yeah, there you go. Let's go inside and let's take a look at Tiny Kong's idle animation. Let's go stand right here and we'll wait for a bit. Well, very similar to Diddy Kong's. It's quite dangerous. Wow. So we're going to exit here and let's go back outside. Okay, we're back outside, and I want to go back to Angry Aztec, but I don't want to take warp number two, because there's going to be another one of those DK dirts along the way to Angry Aztec, so we're going to take the long route, and we're going to grab that. And I'm also going to go and grab warp number three, which is kind of hiding on the back side of the island. So I will go grab that as well, just because we're going to be nearby. Might as well grab it. So we'll go right up this tree, and here is DK dirt number three. So just like that, that's plus 15 coins on every Kong, just from those three rainbow coins we've gotten. Very, very awesome. So let's go up here, and I'm going to drop down right here. And there's going to be some water we can fall into. Yeah, there's some oranges in the water. I should probably grab those. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, no. The fairy restored my oranges, I think. So we're, we're good there. So let's go up. And right outside the water, there's warp number three. So we'll go grab that. We'll take it. And then we'll take warp two to go back up to Angry Aztec. And we'll go inside, and we're gonna stay inside until we get every single thing on Tiny Kong. So, in we go. And here we are. And now that we're basically super rich, I'm gonna go directly to Candy Kong and buy the instrument for Tiny Kong as well. And we can just take Warp 1 right here. That'll put us right next to it. So that is extremely handy. So, let's go inside. And once again, I'm just gonna skip all the dialogue. It's basically identical. I kind of wish they had a little bit more unique dialogue for each of the Kongs in these little buildings, but I mean, there's already so much unique content in this game, I can't really complain. But we do get Saxophone Slam, so that's very handy to have. Let's go ahead and skip, there's gonna tell us, you know, what button to press, and she's probably gonna vaguely flirt with me or some crud. So let's go out, we'll jump back this way. Ooh, I, whoa, 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 stop dude! Oh my gosh, I almost fell in, and then I saved it, and then I almost fell in again, and then I saved it. And then I actually fell in. So even if we didn't have money, we could just grab some extra coins right here. But yeah, we got yet another rainbow coin. There is a lot of these cruds. There we go. So now we're going to go over to the temple here because I want to go inside. Now, there's going to be the peanut switch we used last episode on this side. But there's other switches for other Kongs as well. So let's go to this side. And this is where Tiny Kongs is. Oh, gosh dang it. Now, <laughs> I did not mean to play that. Well... Can we kill the Kasplat up there with this? Let's listen. Wow, <laughs> it sounded like we killed him. Sorry, guy, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I hate when I accidentally play my saxophone and accidentally kill people. Oh, gosh, it's the worst. So let's go ahead and get out of here and let's go inside the temple. Now, inside here, we're going to have not a whole lot to do, but... Remember, there was those two purple balloons back where we unlocked Tiny Kong, so I want to at least go back there. But if we go Tiny right here, there's another path in the water we can take. Probably should have grabbed some more crystal coconuts. Maybe I'll try to grab those on the way out. So I want to <laughs> avoid these guys. No, leave me alone, you crud. Nope. Okay, we're going to go in. Just want to go inside the water. And let's look for the tiny path. Right here, there's a tiny path that you can only go in when you're small. And I want to very carefully go in, because I have a habit of always missing these bananas if I swim too quickly. Go. And there's one more up here. Now, once we're in this spot, the crystal coconuts won't go down. So we're, we're safe once we're in here. We don't have to worry about it running out. We do have to worry about killing claptraps. 
We'll go ahead and smack these guys. When we're inside this room, we can still play the saxophone, but we actually can't play, or we can't use our gun or the shockwave ability when we're small, so well, I don't think we can use grenades either. Yeah, we can't even use grenades, so our attacks are a little bit limited while we're down here, but we got them. If we kill all those clap traps, we will get a golden banana. Let's go ahead and grab that. That's our first out of five to get here. Although we did already find the blueprint, so I just gotta go turn that in. Up here, there's there's nothing. There's nothing up here. We'll just work our way back out through this tunnel. Just gonna drop in the water. Now, as soon as we get out of this uh, little tunnel, we can we can get out of our tiny mode. We don't have to stay small forever. We'll exit right there. There is a bit more to do here still. Let's find the big path. I think it's over. Yep, right here. We just have to dodge that Shuri, the starfish guy, and we'll go straight across. You have to dodge that guy. Inside here, not too important, but we do have some purple coins, so let's go up and grab those. Yeah, we're just so rich now, man. Even though we've already bought the weapon, we already bought the instrument, we already bought an ability. Yeah, we still have 27 coins. Right here is a lanky switch, and down here is a battle arena. We're not going to be able to play those right now, so we'll just move on. I just came here for the coins. And now I want to go into the room where Tiny Kong herself was, because that's where those two purple balloons are going to be. So we'll swim on over and see if we can get those. Of course, this room is full of enemies, so just like we did when I got here with Diddy Kong, I'm gonna let all the enemies load up, and then I'm gonna play that instrument just to kill these guys real quick. Super handy, knock out all five enemies in one go, and then we'll have a little bit of free time to line up our shots for these balloons here. <laughs> and then I instantly miss. Damn, wow, that was actually a pretty good shot. That was not a good shot. Uh, let's try to get it right. He yeah, uh, uh. So much for lining these shots up. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna flail. Just randomly flail. No, dude, just get it. There we go. Okay, so we're back up to 40. And also, just like on Diddy Kong's episode, we're gonna edit back out of this temple. Okay, so let's go back down and let's take warp number two. Camera kind of got stuck there. Sometimes in old games, honestly, sometimes in new games as well, sometimes your camera just gets stuck on crud. It happens. We're gonna go over here and now take warp number four. I don't actually want to go back to Funky Kong. I mean, I probably could use a little bit of ammo after missing those balloons so many times, but that's not what we're here for. I actually want to go and go to this side because we have this other temple with these five doors. There's gonna be a, a door for Tiny Kong, but alongside that is just a ton of bananas over here. So we got those five, but then on top of like all of these trees is gonna be bundles. So I think there's like 30 bananas in total around this area. So we're gonna make sure we get all of that crud. It's gotta not fall into the sand. Oh, just like that. Yeah, you gotta be a little bit careful with Tiny Kong. She doesn't jump very far right now. So you have to kind of be a little bit cautious with these longer jumps. And most importantly, you just don't want to do your flip in the air too soon because then you're just gonna fall like a sack of bananas or something, I don't know. So let's jump over onto this one. And while we're here, might as well stock up on some crystal coconuts as well as get our sound recharged. Looking good. I mean, I only needed one sound recharge from stuff I used on purpose, but there was that one time I accidentally killed that Kasplat, so yeah, I had to recharge that one as well. But now we'll go and hit the feather target right above that little middle door there. We'll go one inside and hopefully not get terrified inside here. In we go. Let's get our gun back out, or I guess our bow, and to shoot that target. Now this one, it it looks like a forked path, but they both actually lead to the same area, so it doesn't really matter which way we go first. I'm just gonna go left, but again, it doesn't really matter. Knock out that guy. Man, I maybe I should have gone to Funky, but we're not gonna need too much ammo here. I am gonna go inside this tiny barrel, though, because there's a little hole in the wall. If we go inside there, you might have been able to hear it. But there's one of those laughing banana fairies. So in we go, let's go whip out that camera. It's gotta get the stinky crud. I already missed one. Uh -huh. Stop moving. I think I got it. They might have got away there. Now we got it. Okay. Those things can be very flighty, and you don't want to run out of film because then you're not going to be able to get them. So you want to be very cautious with those shots. Although, let's go ahead and get out of our tiny form. If we go over to this side, there's another hole in the wall, and that one is not going to have a banana fairy, not going to have any really important collectibles, but. It will have some extra film, so if you're trying to, to do that banana fairy and you just keep missing over and over and over, you could come over here to get some more film to give yourself a few extra shots. But we're already maxed out, so I'm not going to bother collecting all that. Let's just get back out. Hey, let's go back to, I guess, we're going back to tiny. So we're not tinier, now we're just regular tiny. Let's go up here, grab another coin, do a jump shot. 
Now this one I actually do want to go to the right first, because these paths don't loop back around. Over here we've got just one single coin. Well, some crystal coconut action. Oh yeah, because we got that banana fairy once again. Now we can hold 22 in total. Yeah, there's going to be two banana fairies in each of the main levels, and actually a bit more than that on the hub world. So yeah, there's one fairy done here, and there's going to be one more fairy we get, and we will actually get that today. And we're also going to get scared. Ah! No, I'm not scared, man. You know what? I actually am going to let him hit me. I'm going to let him hit me just so you guys can see what happens here. So let's work our way back to the entrance, and we'll just hang out. Don't worry, guys. Don't fear. Everything's fine. The time will run out. Yeah, it's it's scary. He has a scary voice, but all it does <laughs> is a single point of damage. It is kind of silly. Oh, gosh. Then we have to hear his voice again, though. That's the scariest part, man. You got to hear him again. Well, today we're going to do something a little bit strange, guys. I'm going to go and actually swap to Donkey. And the reason is pretty... Crud! The reason is pretty simple. There's a thing that I want to unlock that we can only do as Donkey. So we're going to hop over to him. And I'm going to go out of my way to try to dodge all of his collectibles. Not that there's actually a lot over here with him right now. But there are some up on these stairs, for example, that I'm not going to get. We're going to save that for the next episode when we properly play Donkey. But this right here... We have a donkey pad, so I'm going to go and use that. We have a barrel course, and unlike the one in Jungle Japes, this one does not have any collectibles, so we're not actually going to get anything here, but there is a little switch we have to hit by going through this entire course. So hopefully I can get it first try. Almost done. This is actually a pretty short one. Just got to go through here, and just got to hit that, and got it. And for doing that, we're going to free my dude over here, which, I looked it up, guys, and I don't think this guy has a canonical name. Oh, thank you. All I've got is this old banana. Take it. I'm off for home. Okay. His name, I think, is technically just Llama. So either he doesn't have a name or his name is actually Llama. I don't know what the case is, but yeah, he doesn't have any kind of fun name. Well, I, I guess Llama's kind of a fun name. All right. So we're done with that. Let me swap back to Donkey and go right back here as Tiny Kong. Oh, and the golden banana that the llama left behind, that will still be there when we come back as Donkey, so I'll, I'll get that during Donkey's episode, but for now, I just want to go inside this temple, and the button to open it as Tiny is actually on the very back, so we're going to have to travel just a bit here. Let's go ahead and whip out our feather bow, and shoot that crud. So inside here, most of the stuff that we want to do inside here is going to be stuff we do as Donkey, but there's a little bit that I need to do as Tiny as well, so let's go in. And in here, yet another Kong to save in Angry Aztec. Yep, not just one, but two. Who's there? Can you come in here and give me a hand? Um, no. No, I cannot. We cannot save him as Tiny Kong. We're going to have to wait for Donkey for that, crud. So let's go down. And right over here, we're going to have actually a couple of warps inside this temple. Because it's kind of that big. As well as a new enemy. Here we have a purple claptrap. These guys are pretty scary. We can't hit them with our normal attacks. Not even our new shockwave attack would even take this guy down. Just to show you guys. Not even the shockwave does it. The only thing you can kill them with is an orange. Oh, if I could actually hit him. You could do an orange. You could also do your musical instrument. So that would take him out as well. Oh gosh, I can't hit him. You know what? No, we got him. Okay, I, I was about to. I was about to whip out the saxophone. Let's go get some health here. And we'll grab warp number two as well. And now there's going to be a balloon right over this lava pit. So we'll see if I can get that. Oh, kind of shot a little bit too far ahead. Oh, gosh. Yeah, the feathers travel pretty slow. Come on. Come on. Yeah! All right, got that banana metal. Still need a lot of those to go before we can get the 15 that Cranky wants us to bring him. But, hey, I mean, we're up to... What is that? I think that's five now? No, four. I think we're up to four. Yeah, that would make sense. Episode four, we have four. So now we're going to go up... Oop, get there. We're going to go up this way. You know what? I'm not going to be lazy, guys. Let's go and actually restock my ammo. I don't know if I'll need all that ammo today, but might as well grab it. Let's go up. And right up here, we have warp number one. So that would loop back to the other side. And we have a few purple coins to get here. Got Mr. Sleepy Llama down there. I'm not too worried about him. What if I, what if I pound this guy? I don't think it'll do much, but we can just bounce on his back. Okay, there you go, game. Now, we're just going to go over this way. And over here, we're going to have some more purple bananas, as well as the second of the ban banana fairies for this level. 
So let's go ahead and miss completely. Oh, jeez. Oh, failure sound. It hurts. It hurts. Let's wait. Let's get it. Come here. Let's. Ah! Ah! Okay, guys. I just gotta be patient. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Let's just hang out. Wait for them to come to me. You like to fly over here, don't you? No. Come on, fly right here. Right here. No. Okay, okay, okay. You're so stinking floaty, dude. I think I got it. I think I got it. And... Yeah. Okay, so that one's done. So that will restore all of the stuff I just spent, which is great. Man, I did not even need to grab those ammo boxes, because they would just get restored right there anyways. Let's shrink down and go through this little hole here. This is the last path that we have to take as uh, Tiny Kong inside this temple, so really not a lot to do here as her. But let's go inside. And that is all we had to do as, as the small form, is walk through that one little tunnel. And through here, we're going to have the blue blueprints. Now, how the crud do you get here as Lanky? Well, the answer is pretty simple. You grab warp 2 right here, and now Lanky can warp over here once we unlock him. I'm gonna hit that, take damage during the cutscene. And once we do that, it'll open up a lot of platforms in the lava. I don't know how these are not, like, burning hot, considering they just popped out of lava, but I guess we're just gonna not worry about that. We'll just jump across, grab ourselves five bananas, and hit yet another switch. Now this one's gonna make us go all the way back to the other side, and then jump across for five more bananas. Almost done with all of the bananas. Actually, once we grab this bundle, we're gonna officially have more bananas as Tiny Kong inside Angry Aztec than we have on Diddy. Diddy, we were only able to get 90 during his episode. Now we have 95! hit this final switch and that one will give us not more ban purple bananas but a golden banana so we grab that we have to give one to Sny with the blueprints and then we have just one more oh falling in the lava let's just backflip back out here so let's get this crud just like that and now we have to go over to snide so i'm gonna work my way back out here very carefully across these very dangerous platforms oh gosh they're actually not too bad, because the platforms are kind of spaced out to be pretty much exactly as long as uh, Tiny Kong's jump here. It's really not that bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So let's take warp number two, and that'll very quickly get us back out of here. Let's go walk up the ramp here. Oh gosh, Purple Claptrap. I hate those guys, man. They're so dangerous. I mean, it's very easy to defeat them if you use the saxophone, but if you want to save some time to try to use the grenade, then it can be kind of tricky, because unlike Clump, who's a very big target, like, yeah, you have to kill Clump with the grenade as well, but he's a very big target. The purple claptraps are tiny, man. I mean, they're even tinier than tiny. So we're going to go over here. We're not going to go to Funky. We're going to go directly to Snide. So let's go and hop up this tree. Just kind of hop along the vines here. And there's actually another vine path in front of Snide. So I just want to show you guys that. You don't have to do this. But let's just go over here. And there's another vine path. This leads to that bird guy that we unlocked during Diddy's episode. And someone was asking, how are you supposed to know to fly through the ring at the center? Now, I kind of always just figured because there was red bananas in there, that's kind of the clue. But I kind of wonder, if you came over here before you actually unlocked him, would he have told you to go fly through there? I've never tested that myself, but if you know, definitely let me know. So there's Mr. Bird Guy. So let's go down and let's go and check out the fun animation once again and get ourselves a golden banana. Uh, I think I'll show the animation one more time here, but for future Angry Aztec episodes, when we go to turn in the blueprints, I'll just skip this animation. But come on, we gotta watch it one more time. It's so much fun. Oh, banana. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look at these blueprints. And yeah, still a long way to go. But, you guys might have noticed, we have 21 golden bananas. We're over 20, which means we're over 10% done with all of the bananas we gotta get. So, looking pretty good. Now, we got one more to get. I probably should have got that watermelon. Now, let's go back for it. Uh, yep, we got it. Okay. So, let's go back over this way now and get some more watermelon from this critter. But, we also have the final five bananas. So, let's go with those and get that wonderful sound. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, saxophone. Let's play that. Man, I sure hope Squawks doesn't yell at me for playing this right here. That would be awful. Oh, Squawks, what are you doing here, man? Squawk, what do you think? I am an eagle. You're far too heavy for me. Dude, but I'm the smallest Kwong. Oh, well. Now, we have to actually shrink down all the way. And the tower where we started the episode where Diddy Kong was looking at, 
Yeah, we're gonna get carried up and dropped inside there, and we're gonna get taken to one of the most evil missions or side games or whatever you want to call it in the entire game. This crud is actually really difficult. I've played it a lot, I've practiced it a lot, and I think I've come up with a method for beating it that will hopefully help you guys out, but this crud is evil. This crud is actually evil, man. Squawk! So we're just gonna hold on and he's gonna carry us to the top. And he'll drop us right inside the hole of the tower. And that is where things get evil, where things begin. Thanks for the ride, Squawk. I don't know why you had to take such a scenic route, and I kind of don't like that I had to look at your butt the whole time, but here we go. Inside here, we have this beetle guy. Oh, this guy. Oh, it's only you, Tiny. Well, if you can beat me to the bottom of my slide and collect 50 coins, I suppose you can have my golden banana. So we have to use the stick to steer, push forward to go fast, and pull back to slow down. So here's the thing, guys. This guy is really evil. I'm going to pause even. So I just want to explain real quick that this game uses some rubber banding AI, which basically means that the faster we go, they're going to start going fast to catch back up. And if we go slow, they're going to slow down so they don't get too far ahead of us. The AI is kind of programmed evil like that. So I'm going to take advantage of that fact and actually go very slow for the first half of the course and just focus on collecting coins. Because if we try to go fast, he's probably just going to run into us a whole bunch. Now, technically, right at the start, when we first start, we could actually attack him, but it's kind of hard. I'll try to just to show it off, but yeah, we'll see. So right when we start, I'll try to attack him here. So you can do that to get ahead, but I really don't like doing that. I'm actually going to intentionally let him go ahead of me. And I'm just going to take my time, dude. Just take my time and grab some coins here. And be very careful because it's super easy to fly off the edge of the stage in this level if you scramble and go all kinds of fast and crud. So as you can see, I'm going slow and he's just barely staying ahead of me. If I was going super fast, he would be right up on my high knee and he'd keep running into me. And I would lose a lot of coins. And there's not a lot of coins to spare on the stage. So I don't want to get too far behind him, but I'm not going to even try to pass him. I'm just going to let him be ahead of me. I'll show you guys the exact spot where I'm going to actually pass the guy. We're coming up on it soon. We're going to have a straight section which has lots of walls, so I don't have to worry about flying off the side. So right here, right here, I'm going to take the right path, hold forward, and get ahead of this guy just like that. And I'm not going to let go. Just keep holding forward. I'll try to grab some coins as I go, but I'm going to keep going as fast as I can here. Keep going fast, keep going fast. Just go, 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 go. And we should have plenty of lead now. Now... Coming up soon is a very evil part, which we have to be very careful of not to fall off the side. So after this pink section, after this little S-curve, there's a wall right here. I have to be very careful not to fall off right there. That is so awkward. It might not have looked that bad. I might have made that look easy, but it is actually extremely hard not to fall off the side of the level right there. So just like that, we got it. So that is the trick to that stage is actually don't even try to go fast until the second half. And we got him first try. I can't stress enough that curve at the end, how careful you have to be to not fall off. Like, you can just fall off over and over, and it's awful, man. So be very, very careful there. And one last note, just because I, I know I'm giving you guys a lot of notes, but it's because that mission is actually pretty hard. If you get to the end and the beetle guy is right on your hiney, you can attack him to slow him down at the end there. So as long as you get there before him, just attack him and you'll be fine. Anyways, guys, that is everything done for Tiny Kong. So we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We'll come back next time, and, well, it's going to be donkey time. So I'll see you all then. Take care.